Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is how to how to use other colors that are in your color palette, and you can make colors. Uh, from time to time, I do a process called I think I've got a video out there called Paint and Replace, where I paint pieces and put them back into place, and uh, I want to show the customer what they look like, and how do you get that strawberry color into that into your Corel. Well, if you just go to the internet and pick out a color chart, and I use a process called the snipping tool, which is, a, I think, actually a Microsoft, and just go new and highlight what you want to take a picture of, and then go file, and I'm gonna go exit, because I don't, I've already just saved this exact same one. So then you go back to Corel Draw and you import. I just call it color uh, two. Import it, and there's well, there's some more colors, but that's how you would do it. You would just import it like that lavender right there. So we're going to use that lavender for, for for instance. Just go down here, get your eyedropper tool, and hover over lavender and click on it. Then hover over your your object and click on it. It's that easy to get that color. Now, when you do that, let's use strawberry this time. No, let's use lavender. I need to go back to the eyedropper tool, grab it, and you can see it's, when I get to the center, it's showing a square. I'll tell you what, let me zoom in here. So you might be able to see this better. So we're going to grab the eyedropper. Well, let's use cantaloupe this time. When I go, and you can see a square, but when I get to the edge, you're going to see a rectangle or an outline. So you can make the outline that color. It'll actually show up in here. But going back to my situation where we don't use colors, in laser engraver, it won't really sh do you any good. But this is where it does me a little good. I just made this clock for a person who retired. And I wanted to get the colors of the mobile close as I could. And you could actually go to Krylon uh, website and get their color sw swatches and then go match the paint. But, to, but I just went and took the, sorry about that, took the, mobile logo this is a mobile logo i just took off the internet and it's blurry and pixelized and everything but you can still rob the color so i'm going to go eyedropper to that color and then i'm going to go up to my m whoop need to i need to uh i need to zoom in here a little bit here we go so grab the eyedropper Grab your color and grow up to your imp. And there's my color. And then just do it every time. It's a little bit hard on this little, little uh, letters. And, but you can see what I'm talking about. Then you could send that to the customer and that's what it's going to look like. And then you would have to go to the store and match that paint. And if you haven't watched that video, it's pretty cool. It's just called, I think it's called Paint and Replace. And it doesn't take much time and it adds a lot to your engraving. But anyway, eyedropper tool, red, red. You can just grab, it doesn't have to be in the color palette. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.